Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak, and today we're going to talk about one of the best ladders for an RV that you could have. Now, we need ladders all the time uh, with an RV, uh, especially like I don't have slide cover, pull out covers or slide covers that go from the top over there. Even if you have them, stuff still can get up in there. Acorns hit the roof, bounce, and roll up under there. And, and when the wind takes them down, sticks do. So I prefer on mine, I, it didn't come with them. And when I researched whether I was going to put those covers on over top or not, I decided that I wasn't gonna but stuff gets up on top of that slide before I put it in I do not want acorn sticks and leaves and crap up there that's going to get in there and ruin my seals or jam things up so I need to be able to clear those now some of the RVs out here do have um, you'll end up with having a ladder on the back okay and a ladder on the back is a good idea and it's a nice feature and a lot of them have it um, it does take up some space, but, uh, you know, like I mount my, uh, that's all my wastewater stuff. My, all my sewage stuff is in that box. So it's out, doesn't go in my compartments. So I have that there, but if I had a ladder, I'd be a little trickier to fit that. I probably could, but having a ladder here is nice because you can climb up and then you can do that stuff from there, but it's still tricky trying to be like right now it's raining. Okay. I'm in actually in rain gear cause I was just in the woods and decided to do this video real quick. Uh, but that's why I'm, I'm in full head to toe rain gear just to perfect day to be out there it's you know instead of being 95 degrees it's only 65 degrees and a nice breeze and it's a perfect day to be in the woods doing stuff and scouting but uh so as i just got back i thought i'd do this video um but trying to be up on that rubber roof when it's slippery like this in the rain can be absolutely miserable if you're packing up and leaving on a day that is rainy like that and you need to get up there and clear that off climbing up your back roof or your back ladder stepping onto the roof and then having to lean down and, and clean that stuff off can be a nightmare and can be very dangerous. So having a little ladder comes in real handy for a lot of things. We use it for that, um, you know, for cleaning the slide mostly, but I will show you this ladder because it takes up zero space. Now you have pass-through compartments like you're seeing here, right here, that you could probably fit a ladder in if you want to. But imagine how much of your space you're going to take up when you go sticking ladders in this stuff. Um, it's going to really eat up your space on there and be a problem for you. So, um, And then trying to find a place to put a ladder can be pretty tough. So what we did is I found this one after doing some research. And I'm going to set this here and show you my ladder. You put you on this little tripod here. Like so. There we go and set it about right there. All right, now this ladder here fits inside of my bumper. This is your standard four inch uh, camper bumper. When I pull this cap off right here, see that? That's a ladder. This is actually a ladder. And I will put a link down to it below, okay? This ladder fits right inside of my bumper. Now I'm gonna back the camera up so you can see it better. And put it right there, and I'm hoping this will let you see it. Let me see. Let me look at it real quick and see what kind of heights we got. Yeah, you're going to be fine. So with this ladder here, so it fits in there. I take this ladder, I pull it apart, lock that like that, okay? Split it apart this way, like this. Hit that, hit that, hit that. And then there's a lock lever on the bottom of these, which just grabs everything nice and tight and puts it together. So it went like that and that. And now I actually have a perfectly good ladder that I can use to get up there so I can climb up on here and I can use my brush up there. I can get all the way up on this and I can use a brush and a pole and I can clear that slide off. But this little locking ladder right here is straight up incredible. Weighs next to nothing. Uh, I don't know what the weight limit on it is. I think it's 250, I don't know. Um, but I will put a link to it below so you can see it. But then to put this thing away, all I do, pull that lever lock right there and there, hit that, just like you would on a normal ladder, bring it in together to itself, hit the things right there, and fold it right up, leaves and crap out of the bottom that I brought with me, like that, and then I take it, and I stick it, right back into my bumper just like that and I put the cat back on. That's all there is to it. It's sweet and easy and it's a very functional ladder and like I said I will put a link down below for you so you know how to find it but that and then what I also do we'll pop you back off of this is I have a brush that we keep in here so that when I climb up on that ladder right at one end of that uh 
of my slide, I can use, where did you go? Right here. Oh, hang on. See, I have this brush right here that is on an extendable pole. So if I, see if I can do it with one hand. Yep, I can, but, so this pole, as you can see when I lean it here and back up, is a pretty long pole. And I can take that brush and I can go over to my slide with that ladder. And I just set that ladder right here on this side and I pull everything, I reach across and pull everything over towards me so it falls off. Go on the other other side, because my slide's pretty big side, pretty good size slide. Um, but I can reach half of it from this side, go the other half uh, on the other side and pull the other stuff off that way. And that way I make sure that those rubber seals up there and nothing is gonna get jammed in there. And you will be amazed how quickly he sticks acorns, pine needles, leaves, all of that crap accumulates on top of that slide. You want it off there before you put that slide back in. So it just works really good for that. And then it also allows me to be able to, I can't, I can get on my roof with that little ladder. I can put it here and then I can actually use my hand on there, my hand on there, and I can actually get on my roof. I have to have my wife hold it. It's not recommended. It's not a tall enough ladder for that, um, but I can do it in a pinch. But if I have roof damage or something up there, I can definitely use it to get up on the roof and I can also use it to seal things that I cannot reach. As a guy that's only five, six tall, I cannot reach to work on things up here, but I can, like the seals that you see on here. I had to reseal that. See that sealer around here? I had to put that on there, okay? This is stuff that uh, will crack on you over time. So I had to reseal that window. And, uh, you know, I can't do that here from the ground level. So having that little ladder just makes life a lot easier to be able to fix that kind of stuff. And with that ladder fitting right in my standard four inch bumper, just straight up amazing. It's out of the way. There's nothing else I'm gonna use that bumper for. Most of your, they give you, when you buy your camper, they probably give you a sewer, um, a sewer pipe hose that's basically garbage, but it will fit in here, but none of your connections will, none of that kind of stuff, so it's kind of dead space. When I found that that ladder dimensionally would fit in there, I was like, that's perfect. And so in there, you know, I mean, what a perfect place to have a ladder. The ladder is not very expensive at all. I'll put a link to it down below for you. But it fits right in there. It's out of the way. It lets me change these lights if one of them goes bad. If you had a backup camera, it lets you get up there high enough to work on a backup camera. It lets me fix problems with my awning. It lets me do a lot of things up there. It lets me turn that light on and off that I cannot reach right there but uh that one is held on with velcro up there but we turn it on and off so that it you know it's motion sensing but if we're in an rv park we don't want that on where every time they walk by or their dog goes by it turns the light on but when we're out in uh, boondocking in in remote places by ourselves we want that on so when we let our dogs out the light comes on i can actually get that now this one i can pull it i can stand on here and reach it and pull it down but with that ladder sure would make life a lot easier so uh in just a simple brush i'll put a link to that there for you too but that's how we keep that slide clean that's how we make sure it's all all maintained and done right so hopefully that helps you but that ladder game changer takes up zero space space that would it, it, it doesn't take up any valuable space Fits in a bumper, which is dead space anyway, and it does exactly what you need it to. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.